Beauty is people being themselves, showing their individuality. Beauty is sort of just playing with things and taking them in a different direction. I grew up in the town of Fairfield in Virginia, which is a very small, quiet town, full of farmland and like countryside everywhere. Literally nothing but cows and pigs and things like that. I wasn't allowed to watch TV really, so my brother and I spent all of our time outside every day, dressing up, playing in the field, playing in the trees. One of my biggest inspirations obviously is nature. You know, I grew up with nature. Most of the time when I do a look, it's mostly improv and I don't really have any idea how I'm going to look in the end. A lot of times what happens is sort of an organic process, so what I end up with isn't what I intended. I would describe what I do with makeup as just like a way to experiment and play with shapes and colors and see how you can change the face and glam out. <laughs> Gender doesn't really, it's not at the forefront of my mind, I guess, in creating anything. Some looks end up being more female, some end up being more male. I don't really care. Like, it's not like a consideration. Growing up in Virginia, there wasn't a huge variety of people. There weren't really any references for gay people. I was very like quiet and to myself and like <laughs> didn't want to talk to anybody because like, why? But drag to me really made me feel good about myself and gain confidence and like be more social, like be more outspoken. Nightlife for me was a place where I could like open up and be myself finally. And also a place where I could express myself and be around other people who are doing that too. At this point, it's really exploding. There are so many drag queens, but there's also so many other people playing with makeup in all kinds of different ways. And there's a whole new concept of what drag could be. I think the future of drag isn't necessarily like, these are the rules of drag and this is how you do it. Step one is this, that, you know. Drag will be sort of a person's way of becoming an ultimate version of themselves, not necessarily about being a woman, not really gender specified. I think that gender is something that other people focus on as a way of like labeling people so they can understand them. But like, if you don't need that, it's really not important. It's a lot to look at yourself and see yourself look completely crazy. For some people, for like a drag queen who does the same look often, she'll just be like, oh, there I am again. But for me, I'm like, oh, okay, this is what I'm gonna look like today. So, see how this goes. Thank <laughs> you.